Welcome to Let's Get This Bread. So glad that you're here with us today. Uh, for today's Let's Get This Bread, I wanted to just talk about something that has kind of been on my heart a little bit with some of the issues that my students have been facing recently. I, I think um, with everything going on in the world in 2020, um, we've seen a, a spike in uh, mental health issues like depression and anxiety and um, any of the other gambit of things that could be happening in our lives. And um, I just wanted to take a second and address those things, talk about them, and um, just chat with you guys about just real life and how the Bible talks about those things as well. So um, I, I recognize that this time of life is just nuts and it's not at all what we expect. And, and when things don't happen the way that we expect them to happen, when our expectations are at one level and reality is at another level, or maybe it's here or maybe it's way down there, there's uh, different stages of disappointment and discouragement and then depression even. And we, we get um, in funks and we get in ruts and um, we get in these just cycles. If you're anything like me, you can get in just cycles of, of your brain just kind of spinning and spiraling out of control into just a, a bummer of a time. So um, if, if that's you, if, if what I just was talking about kind of rung true in your heart, you're like, man, that, I, I just want to encourage you with a couple of things today. The first thing that I want you to know is that no matter what is going on in your life right now, in this moment, you can know that your God is with you. I want to read to you out of the book of Isaiah chapter 40. Um, there's a couple of verses in here talking about um, what the Lord does. Not just that he's, because sometimes, you know, we can lose sight of, you know, yeah, he's, we can think, yeah, he's with us. But like, what, what's, what's happened? What's, what's he doing? And, and I want to read these verses to you. Um, Isaiah chapter 40, verse, starting in verse 28. It says, have you not heard? Have you never understood? The Lord is the everlasting God the creator of all the earth. He never grows weak or weary. No one can measure the depths of his understanding. He gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. Even youths become weak and tired. Even youths become weak and tired. And young men will fall in exhaustion, but those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. They will soar high on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not grow faint. Here's what I've learned in, in this season for me and is the times where I have um, strived to do things on my own are the times when I have been the most tired. The times when I've pushed beyond what I have been able to do and bear myself and just tried to do things on my own, I have just found myself frankly exhausted and sometimes feeling just drained. The times when I've been intentional about opening the Word of God and spending time with Him and even going to Him in prayer. Um, I've found that God has, has brought in my spirit just um, like a second wind. You know, m marathon runners, they talk about the second wind after you run miles and miles and you're exhausted, and you're tired, but then all of a sudden you just get this second wind of energy, this adrenaline shot through your body. Uh, I kind of see the Holy Spirit working like that in our lives where we just, as long as we stay persistent, as long as we stay consistently walking with the Lord, when we need Him, He is going to give us the things that we need. The thing is, it's it, it, we don't get to pick. <laughs> it's God who decides when's we, when we need Him. and. He knows exactly when we need him, exactly what we need, exactly when we need it, and he will be faithful to give us those things. It's just on us to trust him that he will. So friends, if you're feeling tired, exhausted, if you're feeling depressed or anxious about whatever is going on in your life, the first thing I want you to know is that God is with you. The second thing that I want you to know is that you're not alone. You're not alone. This season, I have had more conversations with people 
who are struggling with mental health issues than any other season that I've, ta I've talked with people before. This is a hard, hard time of life. And there's a passage in 2 Corinthians chapter 1, um, starting in verse 3. It says, All praise to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is our merciful Father and the source of all comfort. He comforts us in our troubles so that we can comfort others when they are troubled, we will be able to give them the same comfort God has given us. So friends, you're not alone. And there are people in this world who have gone through the same things that you are going through or are going through the same things that you are going through. I think one of our enemy's greatest tactics in the world is to make you feel like there is no one else that feels like you feel. And there is no one else that struggles with this thing the same way that you struggle with it. Friends, this life has been going on for thousands and thousands of years. To think that we are alone in this, it's not true. There are people who love you, who care for you, who want to be with you and walk with you through these things and pray for you and help you through it. I'm thinking of our adult leaders, Rod Michaelis for high school students. Rod has been faithfully serving high school for so long. And if you're in high school and you need some help, if you went and talked to him, I know that Rod would love to chat with you. Think of Amanda Adams. Amanda would love to talk with you guys. Um, junior high, Stephanie Vortman. She's such a faithful leader. We have some amazing leaders. All of our adult leaders are fantastic. Um, and they want to be there for you because they love you. And we've been there. We know what's going on. We know what's up in your lives. We know the things that are happening. And we want to help you. So friends, you're not alone. No matter what you think, no matter what you hear from the enemy, there are people in this world who love you. I'm going to say that one more time. There are people in this life who love you, and there are people in this life who want to help you get through this. So friends, I want you to know if you're feeling tired or anxious or depressed or anything like that in this season, that Jesus is always with you, and when you need him, he will strengthen you. And you're not alone. Jesus is always with you, but there are people on this earth that are struggling, that are walking through the same thing, and we are here for you, and we love you. Let me pray for you. If you're watching this, I would just like you, maybe do something that's a little bit weird. I want you to hold your hands out like this, and I want you to receive this, kind of like you're, you're receiving a blessing, but I'd like to pray for you, a blessing over you that the Lord would work in your heart. So let me pray for you, and then um, I just thank you guys for watching. So let's pray. Jesus, I want to pray for my friends right now that are watching this video. If they're feeling tired, if they're feeling anxious, if they're feeling weighed down by the world, God, we pray that you, the God of the universe, would step into their lives and just reveal yourself in a mighty and powerful way. God, first we ask that you would remove any thing that is holding them back from a relationship with you, anything that is weighing them down or making them feel sad. God, we ask in, in Jesus' name that those would be re removed. But God, if you wish for them to walk through this time, God, I, I pray that there would be people that would surround them, that would show them your love and point them to you. God, we love you. We pray these things in your name. Amen. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're struggling and you need some help, please don't hesitate to talk to someone. You can call me at the church anytime, send me an email, text me, however you want to get a hold of me. I'm available. We love you guys. God bless you. Have a